The Dumpster Diver by Janet S. Wong, illustrated by David Roberts. Bugs. The Dumpster Diver. Anyone knows you can dive for treasure in the ocean, but our neighbor, Steve, the electrician, dives for buried treasure right smack here in our back street alley. Once a month during fall and winter and spring and every week in the summertime, Steve slinks into the basement storage room. Five minutes later, the dumpster diver comes out. When Steve is ready to dive, he taps five times on my bedroom window. I wave to Steve and knock on Johnny's wall. Johnny hops to his window and shouts upstairs to Lena on the third floor. And the diving team is ready to go. I am hose handler number one, also known as the nozzler. Lena is hose handler number two, also known as the snake charmer. Johnny is the fauceteer. Steve climbs up the back alley wall, picks a dumpster, and dives in. Beetles and roaches and spiders splash out. I never imagined there were so many millions of legs living 200 feet from me. Diving rule number one is keep your mouth shut. This is especially important when the roaches start flying. Diving rule number two is don't blow your hose all over the place. This means we hose handlers have to be careful. When Steve climbs out, we hose down the treasure we also hose down Steve. Being a hose handler is no easy job, especially when Steve is shouting, Rule number two! Rule number two! Thursday is trash day, but we do our real work on the weekends. Last Saturday, we started with a pair of busted skis. Johnny drew, Lena measured, I drilled holes for nuts and bolts. Steve cut with a saw, and soon we had a pair of skater. That is so rad. An old blender can become a lamp. An old lamp can become a table. An old table plus two banged up skateboards plus a ripped crib mattress plus a handheld shower plus 32 screws and a roll of duct tape can become anything we want it to be. Yesterday's treasure of the day was an old computer that almost became a flower pot, Johnny's idea, or a fish tank, Lena's idea, or a sculpture, my brilliant idea, but we decided it should be a computer for Zenda on the fifth floor who practices her typing on a piece of cardboard with the letters written in. The Grouch, who lives next door to Steve, says Steve is crazy, too lazy to work hard to make enough money to buy new stuff at the store like good people should. She says his apartment is full of junk. Steve says, junk is good.
The Grouch says, we kids better watch out or we'll get cut up from the trash. But it was Steve who got cut up on broken glass and rusted metal when the dumpster trash collapsed under him. Serves you right. What do you expect digging through the trash? The Grouch has a point. Starting today, we are going to stop digging through the trash. Starting today, we are going to knock on every door in our apartment building, collecting our own special dumpster diver useful junk. Starting today, we are going to put our useful junk carefully in the basement storage room, except maybe for this old wagon and that broken rocker and this tennis racket and that popcorn machine, all the stuff we need for a wheelchair for Steve. Thank you for listening to the dumpster diver. And I hope it has you think a little bit about what you throw away and maybe where is it gonna go when you don't want it anymore? Where is a way after all?